I tried college. I didn't really suit me that well. Kind of went from job to job for six months, and then I decided I've got to do something. So my buddy and I uh, both joined the Air Force. And what year was that? That was 1965. Did you know what was happening in Vietnam at the time? You know, I didn't. I, I'm, I'm not sure that I really knew what was going on there. So what did you end up doing for a job in the Air Force? I saw this guy that was uh, sitting in an office that uh, had a whole bunch of medals across his chest like this. And I, I said, well, what does that guy do? And he goes, oh, you don't want to do that. He says, that's too hard. So I went in and talked to the guy and he says, yeah, he says, uh, it's all all volunteer unit. He says, uh, uh, you'll have to take some tests. Uh, can you swim? Air Force veteran Mike Fish says he'd been swimming his entire life. They put him through several tests and he qualified for pararescue school. He spent time in a few spots in the States and was sent to Vietnam in early 1969. And we were rescuing uh, everybody there that crashed. I mean, uh, Army helicopters, you know, I think, I believe they, the Army lost like maybe three or four Hueys every day through, you know, getting shot down or crashing. And we were rescuing Army people, Air Force people. You did tell me you had survivor's guilt and some, some stuff you had to work through. Tell, tell me about that. Uh, the survivor's guilt was, I, I think it's, when you have somebody's life in your hands um, and then you lose them, it's tough, real tough. And uh, so, you know, I didn't, at the time, I didn't really come back with survivor's guilt, but over time, uh, it's, manifest itself and uh, really don't think about it much uh, except when I'm in church. <laughs> uh, it's there. It's just there all the time. We will have more of our interview with Mike Fish next week on our podcast, Tomorrow Town, Tennessee. Thanks for making News Channel 9 your trusted source for local news. For updates and the latest on breaking news, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.